Hi, people up north. I sent, I was, I got this lovely little letter in the post that they were threatening me. Um, from the north. I don't have a husband, by the way. It says your husband. I don't have one of those. It's been two years, people. You need to get let me go. Um, I just not to the husband. We've we've we're happy enough. Part, the G people, the rest of you. I must have made some impact on your life when you can't let me rest. I don't want you in my life. It's not my business if he, if Jason got jail. If Jason got jail, Jason's a criminal. That's where criminals go. Okay. I did not say when oh when I went to the police about e two years no about a year and a half ago, and I logged all these things that you sent me videos, messages, threatening letters. Um, everything, every correspondence that I received from you went to the guards. And one Pacific guard that I know now. So he gets them all, logs them in his file, and I, whatever, whatever you did to me, that's what I said. I, I recorded myself talking to the guards. I sent it on to you. You know exactly what I said to the guards. Now, you didn't, you're only to remind me of what I can do to you with the money laundering. But I was letting it go because I'm out of your life, you're out of mine. I was hoping that you'd let me go. I must have been the best thing that ever happened to you people. Because you won't back off. Now I'm telling you, leave me alone. I'm living a peaceful, chilled out life. I'm living my best life. I can do what I want. Say what I want. I can finally breathe in my life. I don't want any part of you people. You people are a joke. Now I understand this letter must probably wrote in haste. You were overly stressed. Jason had got prison. I understand that you were, weren't thinking straight when you wrote this letter. So I'll be in my car at six o'clock and if I don't hear an apology from you by then, I'll be bringing it in with my gloves that I opened it with and uh, hand it over to the guards for to get the number the fingerprints from it at uh, this writing can't say i know who it is like i would know a couple of the handwritings but you should have got one of the more intelligent people to write it then i would have been able to understand it i wouldn't have had to use the best powers of my brain to try and understand what you're trying to actually say. So you're basically trying to say I got an extension in my house from Jason Laund money laundering. Oh my goodness, I don't have an extension on my house. Let me see, I'll bring you out my back garden now for a second. I'm planning on an extension, but I don't have one. See, I have a shed there. I have another shed there. Trampoline that's been there seven years swing set that's been there seven years so i literally do not have an extension okay i have a storage room built upstairs that i got a credit union loan for okay so that can be proved and um, you're saying about cars i only have an old scrap car outside the door that by the way that i get um free vat free tax um, I guess supplements, sub, supplements, sorry, double dutch today, um, because my child has disability, okay? So, I don't know what you're talking about. I can send you me back details if you want to send me a bit of money, but I don't have enough to be sure around for you. So I appreciate if you get, if you get on the Kulak Garden, get them to come up to me, um, if you want. There's nothing here for you. Now back out of my life, get off of my life. I'm living my old best life. I'm very, very chilled in my life. Look, I actually have my mask on at the moment and I'm chilled. I haven't even gotten, I'm, I'm so chilled. I didn't even do my housework yet. Um, I'm just back from an appointment. So I'm going to get up now. I'm going to do my housework. Um, then I'm going to have a nice shower. Blow dry my hair, pick up Dwayne, 
Then I'm gonna come back, I have somewhere to go. I'm gonna go, maybe go over dinner with the kids. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what. I, it's a pretty chilled day. That's what I'm going to be having now. So you're not gonna stress me. But if you don't back off, and if you don't send, you can send one of your family an apology and they can send it on to me if you want, because I have you all blocked anyway. So if you do that there, I won't go to the guards um, and express everything I know about your money laundering. Because you're only going to make Jason's time worse. He's not going to get out in good behaviour if you're threatening on his behalf. Do you understand? You might think I'm soft or I'm a fool, but listen to me. I am not stupid. I might not have went to college, but I am highly intelligent. And I promise you, I did promise you before. And you won't listen to me. Now, if you keep coming at me, I'm going to keep, I'm going to go back to you. Maybe Jason's a bit lonely in there and he might need some company. Maybe that's the problem. You're probably saying, oh, I won't swear Tommy's life away or the rest of them. I'm not swearing anyone's life away. I give you all the same punishment. But you gave me worse punishment than Tommy ever gave on the phone. You swear that you were married to me. You should have backed off. Mind your own business. And to be honest, if you keep it up, I'm gonna I'm going to go up to Kulak now at six. Now, apologize for your stupid letter, like childish letter. Your husband, money law. I know money and money laundering. I've the same account for years. Do you understand? Ulster Bank, Kemp in the North. It's closing soon because they're been. Whatever. I'm, 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 I'm mumbling now.